Hey guys, welcome to another video here with Quinn City Reese and more. Today guys, we are going to be talking about off a reef. Most of you recognize off a reef mostly from the already made solution. I'm most likely by now aware that they've come out with a powdered version. Most of you have also probably watched the BRS video already where they do the mixing and all that. But I figured I could provide more of a hobbyist actual experience. Today I plan on making one gallon of this solution so that I can put it in this bottle. Yes, as you can tell here, this is white, a bottle that, I, that was used for white vinegar and I try to keep all the bottles that I have that are at least a gallon like this so that I can use it for calcium, magnesium, alkalinity, uh, whatever solution that I'm making from powdered versions, uh, I try to keep these because if you all know, we need these. And some of you might end up purchasing, you know, BRS has some that they sell that are, you know, empty bottles with the BRS logo on it. Uh, some of you probably purchase fancier ones. Uh, I don't. I think honestly when it comes to solutions most of the time they are in our stand or stored somewhere so you know simple bottle like this uh, will work perfectly but if you only want to mix about a thousand I recommend you save these bottles if you still have any or if you have any now and you plan on eventually switching over to the powdered version I recommend you save these because you could use these to refill back with the same solution or refill anything else uh, I've actually used one of these I washed it out really well and I used one of these to store phytoplankton because I bought the two liter containers and then I fill this up so that I can have a way to measure it. Since I knew I was gonna be creating my own uh, solution from this powder, I decided to get a magnetic stir from Amazon and I decided to get a kitchen scale from Amazon as well so that I can weigh it and have the perfect uh, powdered amount that I need for the perfect amount of solution of RODI. Something else I purchased from Amazon too. I'm sure you're all familiar with these. This is a 1000 milliliter flask or beaker. And then this right here, a 500 milliliter flask, as well as a 2000 milliliter one. I figured if I wanna make a gallon solution, it would be better to try to mix it in here than try you know, four of these. As you know, a, a full gallon mix is a total of 4000 milliliters. For demonstration purposes, I'm gonna go ahead and use the 1000 to fill this up. All right, so I went ahead and went to rinse this and then added RODI water. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at this magnetic stir. This specific one comes with specific sizes on the stir itself. Then it comes with this deal that's actually magnetic and you can pick up the stir from the flask once you're done. You know what I didn't take into account is that I was gonna need electricity here. <laughs> and therefore, I have to find an extension cord. But I think actually there's one right there. This is your, your simple magnetic stirrer. There's a brand right there if you're interested. Next step, let's grab one of these stirrers. I'm assuming, honestly, I, I don't see a reason why not to go with the largest one of them all. We're gonna set this to the side because now we actually have to measure uh, the amount of powder that we're gonna need to mix up. For that, I'm gonna use this digital kitchen scale. All right, so here's the scale. I mean, it's, it's like any other scale. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're gonna reset this so that it's at zero grams so that it can take the account of this little tray to its weight. And if you read the directions, it tells you that to mix a total of approximately 160 grams for one liter. 160 grams is what we want to weigh so that it goes into this one liter here. We're now going to measure 160 grams. Ladies and gentlemen, this is exactly what we're going to be mixing in this. So I believe you want to see the mixing part, right? All 
All right, guys, I'm not gonna sit here and bore you through the rest of this. You could tell that it's getting clearer and clearer. I'm gonna let this continue to mix and uh, then I'm gonna just put it into this bottle and use it as I need it. This, this tank right here is currently on two-part solution, uh, which is alkalinity and calcium. And in magnesium, I manually dose it as needed. Uh, the tank over there, the, t the peninsula, I've been actually manually dosing this for some time now. And I figured that I want to put it on a doser now that I have an idea of how much uh, it needs daily in order to keep up and stay constant. And therefore, if I want to, the container that I have is a two liter container. So I'm definitely going to mix two liter and one, one gallon so that I have it ready for when it needs to be filled up again. For now, guys, thank you for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you have not hit that like button yet, please consider hitting it. It doesn't cost you a thing. It helps me out a lot. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. And I will see you guys on the next one. Adios. A few things to mention here is, I don't know if you can see that sediment flowing around. There you go. Think of, uh, focus right on that but it's still floating around and it's actually been 30 minutes since uh since i stopped this magnetic stir something else that actually is concerning me right now is the following let's see if i can zoom in on it and make it uh, obvious to the lens because it almost seems like i might not be able to show you oh there we go right there Look at all this black that these black that black residue that has kind of attached to the magnet itself. Now I've looked through this container and I don't see anything black, but as you know, I did rinse everything in on here, in here, and I I just don't know where this is coming from. So something else to consider uh, and to look out for if you purchase this and want to mix this. So if it attached. Let's, let's see if it actually attaches to the magnet itself. We'll be able to figure that out by... Just look at that. Here's what I'm talking about. But I'll keep you posted. I'll definitely keep you posted. Uh, something to be aware of and Hey, you know, maybe uh maybe uh, maybe it's just this bottle here. <laughs> I don't know.